Justin Chambliss here, realestatewholesalersclub.com. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a superhero because I wanted superpowers. Then I realized, you know, we all kind of have superpowers. What's that one thing that you're great at? What's your superpower? Let's talk about it right now. want to live a fulfilling life and realize your dreams, you're going to have to learn what your strengths are. If you fail to learn what your strengths are, you'll probably end up working a job for someone else, feeling completely miserable, unfulfilled, not using your true gifts and talents, and what a miserable life that would be. But when you do find your true strengths, you can really dial into the things that make you unique and special, the things that make you excel. So All here's a few ways to identify your strengths. Number one, ask some people you know and that know you really well, hey, what are some things that you think are my real strengths? What are things that I do great at that maybe I do better than anyone else? Number two, ask yourself, what is it that I love to do in my spare time? What is it that I can spend hours and hours doing without even realizing the time is going by? Number three, ask yourself, what are the things that I can do easily that I know other people can't do very easily? What are the things that people are always asking me to help them with? Number four, pay attention when people give you compliments. They're telling you about your strengths. Warning. Please do not consider any strengths that you think of as insignificant. Small strengths can be used, capitalized upon to create great results. For example, you may consider it an insignificant thing to have a strength when it comes to reading books and studying. That sounds like a small thing. But if you were to focus your strengths on studying and reading the right books that would lead you towards your goals, just look at what a difference that would make that those who lack your strength will never realize. Now I want you to consider playing to your strengths. What things in your life could you be doing different that will utilize your strengths and gifts better? So here's your exercise for today. You may have to follow some of the advice I just gave you about how to find out some of your strengths. You may have to ask some folks. I want you to take a sheet of paper and a pen or a pencil, but I want you to write down some of those strengths that you have. Then I want you to ask yourself, am I spending my time using these strengths or am I not using these strengths? And then I want you to consider what it may take for you to change as that. As soon as I decided to start embracing my strengths and using my gifts in a real way every day, this has made a major difference in my own life Tomorrow, I'm going to visit with you about embracing your weaknesses. Real Estate Wholesalers Club is here to help you do just that. I'm Justin Chamness. Please visit us at realestatewholesalersclub.com, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.